Good day, and this will be the part 2 of our module 1 discussion, the metric system. First, let's define measurement. So the measurement is defined as the determination of a dimensions, capacity, quantity, or the extent of something. So basically, you try to evaluate or assess yung uh, dimension, yung mga characteristics such as dimension, uh, capacity, quantity or yung extent of a particular substance no and you need to familiarize yung mga common types of measurements utilized in the laboratory so ito yung mga nakasulat dito yung mass volume length time temperature pressure as well as concentration now let's proceed to the two system of measurements we have the english system of units as well as the metric system of units so, ang kailangan nyo lang tandaan dito that the metric system of units is used in scientific work. So, basically, ito yung gagamitin natin, yung metric system of units. The first important base unit is length. Okay? And by definition, length is measured by determining uh, two the um, determining the distance between two uh, certain points. Okay? And yung base unit niya, please remember is meter. Okay? So according to Stoker, most lab length measurements are made in centimeters. Okay? So this is in general na, no? pero in the the uh, clinical laboratory setting, the most lab laboratory length measurement are made in uh, usually millimeters tsaka, or micrometer, no? yung mga mas maliit na. So, itong dalawang to, in the clinical lab. Okay? Please remember, no? In general, most laboratory centimeters in clinical lab Dun tayo sa millimeter and micrometer.
Next is volume. Volume is measured by determining the amount of space occupied by a three-dimensional object. So the base unit for volume is liter. Now, according to Stoker, if you have a cube, no, if you have a cube that is 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter, 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 no, that is equal to, syempre, 10 times 10 times 10, meron kang 1,000 cubic centimeter. And 1,000 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 liter. Ibig sabihin, um, 1,000 cubic centimeter is also equal to 1,000 milliliter. Kaya nga, if you assess kapag pumunta na kayo, or I think meron na kayong experience sa uh, uh, MLSP, no? Sa mga syringe. So, kung napansin nyo yung mga syringe, instead of sabihin niya na instead na sabihin niya na na 5 ml, no? Kasi ang dugo uh, liquid yan and volume yung ina-assess natin, no? Instead of sabihin niya na <clears throat> 5 ml of blood, sasabihin niya, meron kang 5 cc, 5 cubic centimeter. So, that is the main reason kaya instead of 5 ml yung nakikita niya sa mga syringe, meron tayong 5 cc. First example is length. So if you have 500 meters and you want to convert it to kilometer, no? Tandaan nyo na 1 kilometer is equal to 8,000 meter. So basically, ang gagawin mo lang, 500 meter multiplied by 1 kilometer over 1,000 meter is equal to 0 0.5 kilometers. Okay? So here are the other examples. You may pause the video. Next, for the mass, same principle, 7 grams converted to milligrams. 1 milligram is equal to 10 raised to negative 3 grams. So, that's 0 0.001 gram. Gagawin mo lang, 7 gram multiplied by 1 gram, uh, 1 milligram over 0 0.001 gram, which is equal to 7,000 milligrams. So, here are some of the examples. You may pause the video once again. Next is volume. Again, same principle. 75 milliliters converted into liters. 1 ml is equal to 10 raised to negative 3 liters. So that is 0 0.001. So 75 ml times 0 0.001 ml, uh, liter over 1 ml is equal to 0 0.075 liters. Then these are some of the examples. You may pause the video. For the chemical calculations, you need to familiarize yourselves sa mga different parts ng periodic table, especially yung mga atomic mass and yung kanilang atomic number.
Next, you have your aluminum hydroxide. So, same lang yung steps. Molar mass is represented as grams per mole. No? And molar mass is the mass of a given chemical element or chemical compound divided by the amount of substance. Okay? The molar mass of a compound can be calculated by adding the standard AMU no? so in grams per mole of the constituent atoms. To understand molar mass, okay? So, a molar mass of nitrogen is 14 grams per mole. That means a single mole of nitrogen, it has 14.01 uh, grams. Okay? So, basically, you just look at the, the uh, atomic mass ng isang element. No? Now, here are the steps in calculating molar mass. And as you can see, it is the same, no? Are similar with the uh, steps in calculating formula mass. Now we calculate the molar mass again. This is just the same steps as the formula mass. So you can pause the video. Now, let's see the relationship of molar mass to formula mass because they have the same um, calculations, right? So, by definition, molar mass is the mass in grams of a substance numerically equal to the substance formula mass. So, for example, you have a carbon dioxide that has a formula mass of 44.01 atomic mass units. That also means that you have on a single mole of a carbon dioxide no, molecule, it has 44.01 grams. Or pwede mong sabihin na carbon dioxide has uh, 44.01 grams per mole. Okay? Mole is abbreviated as mole, no? a unit of measurement for the amount of substance. And the amount of substance that contains as many as the atoms, molecules, or ions are there in exactly 12 grams of the isotope of carbon-12. Now, 1 mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 raised to 23, no? or yung ant niya tawag nating Avogadro's number. So, how do we calculate the mass of the molar quantities of a compound? So, in molar mass, the mass in grams of one mole of any pure substance. So, the molar mass of any element is numerically equal to its atomic mass and has its units of grams per mole. Okay? So, conversion of mole to mass and vice versa, number of moles times the um, number of grams per the amount of mole is equal to its mass. So, here are the steps in calculating the mass of the molar quantities of a compound. Okay? So, you just get the atomic mass of the given, no? Yung each of the atomic mass ng mga element. Tapos, you get the molar mass ng compound and then convert mole to mass using the appropriate conversion units. Calculating the molar quantities of a compound components, the molar interpretation of a chemical formula is used in calculations where information about a particular element within a compound is needed. For example, for every single mole of a phosphate or yung PO4, there is a one mole of phosphorus atom 
and 4 moles of oxygen atoms. So basically, meron kang 1 mole of phosphate, meron kang isang mole ng phosphorus, and 4 moles of oxygen. So, yun lang yun. So, that's it. No? That's the end of our discussion. If you have any questions, just email me dito. At friends Aaron at EUF that page okay um okay magagalit if delayed yung response ko dahil I still have uh, a full time work as a med tech right now di na ako full time sa teaching no so I uh, have patience na lang kapag delay yung response okay and that's it. Thank you and God bless.